everybody. How's everybody doing? My name is Cherie, and welcome to my channel. I had some people asking where I've been, and I've been camping. Uh, I don't get very good reception at the campground. I have to go here and there to find a hot spot. Uh, I do have a phone that works at the campground, but it's just a flip phone, so I can't really do much on it. So anyway, I am just got back and I was doing some dishes and stuff before I go back again here soon. And I thought I would just take you all along with me and chit chat while I do dishes. Now if you do not like sound like that, then you're not going to probably like this video. Because this video is going to have clanging and banging in it because I'll be doing dishes and I'm trying not to get my tablet wet because when I do dishes, I'm like a duck in the kitchen, splashing water everywhere. I've always been that way. My poor mommy always told me, Cherie, you were like a duck in the kitchen. There was always water everywhere. <laughs> so anyway, if you don't like lots of water and lots of clanging and banging, then you're probably going to like this video for sure. But anywho... Uh, I was going to just do this and chit chat with you. I figured, hey, you know, I'm here by myself right now, so why not, you know? But I usually do most of my dishes before I leave. Usually I do all of them, but I didn't this time because I guess I was either in a hurry or lazy or all the above. <laughs> so, anyway, here we go. <laughs> we have had the most beautiful weather. I am in Kentucky. And we have had the most awesome week of beautiful weather. And it has gotten down cold. Cold, cold, cold. Uh, like in the uh, lower 40s, I believe it was. One night it was really cold. And uh, let's see. Last night wasn't as cold. It wasn't as cold last night as it had been. So it wasn't too awful bad. But it's still cool. So I, took, uh, I got me some hot chocolate. <laughs> So, I'd have some hot chocolate. I don't drink coffee. So, I got me some hot chocolate the other day uh, at Walmart. And uh, I ventured out on a little expedition. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. I really am horrible. I don't go anywhere by myself. I've been babied all my life. I never go anywhere like to towns nearby or even to you know, big cities or anything like that. I just don't. I don't like driving on roads that don't have more, that has more than two lanes on each side. <laughs> I prefer one lane per each side, just a two-way road, but um, I just don't maneuver well like that. It makes me nervous. I don't never know if I'm, what if I'm in the wrong lane, I have to get over two or three lanes, you know. Driving in Atlanta or somebody like that, somewhere like that would scare me to death. <laughs> so anyway, I did venture out the other day from camp all by myself and my GPS. I did use my GPS on my phone. But um, <laughs> I did make it uh, to a city or two over from where we are. And I went to Walmart and Rural King. I love Rural King. Rural King. I hate that word, rural. <laughs> Uh, that is an awesome one, too, there, and um, you can find all kinds of stuff in Rural King, and I got some really good pretzels. They're called, shoot, pretzel cravings or something like that, uh, the original flavor, and boy, are they good. I mean, you don't want to get close to nobody because they got a lot of garlic in them, so. <laughs> If you have young children and they're dating, <laughs> feed them some of them. <laughs> that would be like instant birth control. <laughs> They wouldn't be able to stand each other. Or maybe just give it to one of them so the other one will be appalled. But uh, anyway, they're really good pretzels. And uh, <laughs> I really, really enjoyed them. We ate almost two bags of them in two bags. <laughs> so I've got to get some more. So anywho, uh, that was good. But I did find my way around, and I was so proud of myself. I mean, I was gone for like three hours. Oscar called to make sure I was all right. I'm like, heck yeah, I'm over. Right. I'm on my own, man. And I'm going shopping and everything. I'm free spirit. <laughs> so anyway, he's like, oh, I was just making sure he's okay. You didn't get lost or something. I'm like, nope, I'm good. I'm on my way home, actually, anyway. But <laughs> Oh, goodness. I don't go to Walmart very often, really. I like Dollar General and Family Dollar really better than any of them. But... <laughs> 
I did go to Walmart. I went a little crazy. Did, I did, I did. I must admit, so I did go crazy. <laughs> but, anyway, I hope I'm getting these clean. I did have cataract surgery, and I can see really good from a distance. But <laughs> close, I don't see that good. And I didn't see that good before, either. So, unless I have my reading glasses on, I don't, uh, I don't really, I have to really check my dish washing skills <laughs> so hopefully these are okay um i love this little sharibi i call it my sharibi mug it's got bees all over it i think it's so cute it's a big mug too it has a little bee down on the inside of it and it has little bees all over it <laughs> i love bees sharibi <laughs> and uh anyways that's what i have been doing just camping and enjoying the weather, fall weather. And let's see, what else is going on? Oh, I found a, well, I found a place to get my nails done there, but I went and got those glue-on nails, you know, them, them kind of like this. And uh, I've been doing that, but they keep on popping off. I'm like, like, if they keep on popping off, I'm just going to go get them done like I used to. But I was trying to avoid doing that. But I might have to. I did find a place there, so if I get bored or something, I, ouch, I can go and get my get my nails done. But uh, not the end of the world. And sometimes I just like them regular nails, you know. I think those nails getting them done is kind of going out of style anyway, really. I think it's about to get to a point where people just rather have regular nails or short nails and polish them or not, you know. But uh, I think... Uh, I think we've been doing pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else has been going on? Um, my dad, my dad's got a campsite too now. He bought a camper and a campsite. And uh, so he's there with us also, so that makes it extra fun. And uh, my cousins come in and things like that. It's good to be real fun. Uh, I know my uncle and my aunt would have been there by now, but my uncle, my, uncle, my aunt, I think I told some of you about that, it's been broke her hip twice, I believe, and uh, she did once, and then she fell on it again after she'd had surgery on it, and I don't know if she broke it again, I guess she did break it again, or come loose, or something, so love her heart, she's dealing with that, and they have a camper, and I know they would have come and camped with us, but uh, they just got other things going on right now, so, uh, anyway, let's see, what else is going on, oh, do you want to see my wrist, where I, I've not got my... I've got this brace. I got my oh, I got my cast off too. I didn't tell y'all that yet. I got my cast off. Okay, so I don't have my cast on no more. Uh, I do have to wear this brace, and I wear it sometimes. I don't really wear it all the time. See, it's got little vent holes in it. Well, let me tell you. When I took this thing off the first time after I got home, I had these whelps all over my hand, all over my arm. I had these big whelps, and I thought I was allergic to it, and I about freaked out. So after I calmed down, thinking, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I think I'm allergic to this. I broke out in whelps. It finally dawned on me. It was the stupid holes in this thing making my arm have these little poochy bumps all over it. So I loosened it up a little. But uh, I wear it most of the time because I, I, I don't want to mess up what the surgeon did. But it looks really good. Uh, he did a good job on it, I think. I mean, here's my other one. But uh, if you don't mind seeing a little bit of scar, if you do, don't watch this next few seconds, okay? Because I don't want to gross nobody out around. But it actually looks good. But here's what it looks like so far, okay? But he did a real good job. He did a real good job. I had some uh, uh, fragments that had broken off, too, that he didn't realize he was going to get into all that. But um, he did, and he did a good job. I couldn't ask for a better surgeon. I wished he was did everything because I'd use him for everything, <laughs> I, I really, really thought he did a good job. I really liked what he did. So, um, anyway, I was glad uh, that I got him, and I'm glad that he talked me into having it done because I almost chickened out. Because <laughs> I'd never had anything done before, and I was kind of afraid. <laughs> oh, and I was about to, uh, and I don't think I just cracked that. Did I just crack that? Did you hear that? I just cracked that. Daggone, I broke my lamp. I guess I shouldn't have cleaned it, but this rag isn't that cold or nothing. Oh man, I cracked my stupid lamp. <sighs> See what I mean? No matter what I do, just sitting here talking to y'all, just washing stuff up. <sighs> Washed that lamp and it cracked. Ugh, I hate it when stuff like that happens. Well, 
I know it's like that. Maybe nobody else will notice. <laughs> I just won't turn it on. <laughs> I'll draw everybody's attention that way. If they start looking at it, I'll say, oh, look over there. Did I show you this? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Deception, deception. <laughs> well, I've gotten some happy mail lately, so I wanted to thank everybody that sent me happy mail. I wanted to tell you how much I appreciate it. Love it. Use it all. Thank you very much. Cards, checking on me. Thank you very much. And I am doing a whole lot better. So, um, let's see. Let me think if there's anything else I need to tell you. Now, the Cherie and Sisters in Christ group, that's my Facebook group, I don't do a whole lot on it myself, but, uh, Gizmo, what are you doing? He's crawled under the hutch and just laying down there. Uh, I don't do a lot on it myself. I do the writings and stuff on my own, but I don't post a lot of things, but everybody on there is there for each other. I told them when I started it, I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you girls. I'm giving you a place to go and a place to share and uh, support each other and stuff. And uh, that's what they do. And I've been, been really impressed with how everybody's uh, supporting each other through the different things and stuff. And uh, they're doing real good. But I have to get my October scripture writing plan. We do a scripture writing on there. And I have to get my October scripture writing plan picked out here pretty soon. And they can follow that one or they can pick something else. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you don't want to write, you can read. You can you can do anything you want. You can share what you write or whatever. You do not have to. It's whatever you want to do. And I ask people, please don't make it a job to do that because it's not a job. It's for you and God to get closer and to be there to support other Christians and to help women become Christians, whatever, um, however you want to word it. Um, but anyway, just please don't make it a job. Don't think that because you can't draw, some people draw on everything, uh, draw pictures and things. I don't do much drawing. I use stickers, and sometimes I don't do nothing. I just write my verses out. But it's for you to spend time with God and do stuff like that. And uh, anyway, don't make it a job, okay? Do your scripture writing, reading, whatever you want to do. You do not have to share it. If you share it, you get support on there no matter what it is. And there is no wrong way to do it. Everybody's like, I don't know how to scripture write. You write the scripture. That's it. Uh, if it says John 3.16, you write out John 3.16 and write the verse out. That's it. That's all you have to do. But you need to think about it. Don't just write the verse, put the stuff away, and think, okay, that took two seconds. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not what it's about. Although some days, it almost is that way, I will admit, and I'm sure a lot of you are that way. Things happen, and you get it done to say that you did it, and that's it. But that's wrong, and you don't fall into that habit. Uh, you need to think about what you're reading. Think about how to apply it in your life. Um Get you a devotional, a Bible devotional book for women or whatever, and uh, do that too. You know, that doesn't be the, have to be the only thing that you do. You can do other things too. Um, uh, you know what? Um, let me see here. I've got some of my fall decorations out. But anyway, you're welcome to join that group, so I'm going to tell you. And if you invite people to that group, I'm asking you, please make sure they know that you are and that they want to participate. I don't want to end up with a group full of a lot of people that don't even even realize they're in the group or participate or do anything with it, okay? Because it is hard to weed people out. I don't, there's too many people for me to know who always participates and doesn't. So just be gingerly asking people for their, to request for people to join, okay? If they do participate and they know you're asking, that's fine. But they should be able to ask for themselves, okay? Because there are questions on there that's supposed to be answered. And when you invite somebody, those aren't getting answered. And I don't really like that. I like for the people to, to join on their own. Uh, if they don't do that, then they're probably not even going to participate or even look at it, okay? So just keep that in mind, okay? Uh, I do have some of my fall stuff out. My house isn't too bad right now. <laughs> I hadn't planned on doing this, so I, I have to keep my... I have to keep uh, this facing this way. Hang on a minute. You're probably seeing the ceiling. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can see. There. There's a... Uh, there is my table. Let me get over here so you can see it a little bit better, maybe. 
Okay, where are you? Let me turn the light on. Hang on, sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, can you see it? I'm trying to see what you're saying. Okay, there you go. There is my table placemats. I'm trying to get the, there you go. I got leaves and sunflowers, okay? So there's that part. What else did I get? Oh, over here, here's my little table with my give thanks and my little scarecrow people. Can you see that? Are you seeing it? Let me see here. There. There you go. You see that now? There's my give thanks. Okay. And then there is my little scarecrow people. Okay. And then over here on my table table is I'm trying to see what you're seeing. Okay, here is all this. Can you see them? Can you see them, I hope? There. Did that get it? Is that good? I think you might have got it. I hope you're seeing something. Probably like, sure, you would not see anything but a wall. But anyway, that's what I did for that. Okay. And then I got some pillows. Watch me fall apart my wrist. Then I got some pillows the other day at, uh, where did I get those at? Burks. No, 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 no. That's wrong. I think I got the thankful and blessed at Burks, and I got the trees um, at TJ Maxx. Okay, let me see if you can see this good. I think my camera was kind of here. This might be a little bit better. Okay. It gets dark a little bit. But anyway, that's all I really got of that. I, uh, I don't decorate a whole big lot. Some people put stuff outside and everything. I didn't. I don't really, I don't really do a lot of decorating like that. I could, I guess, if I wanted to. But I'm lazy and I don't want to have to put it all up. <laughs> All right, lazy, lazy, lazy. Oh, but I'm also busy, busy, busy. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, I won't keep you no more. I'm surprised I was able to talk for 17 minutes. But anyway, I hope you all have a good day. I hope you have a good week. Have a good coming weekend, and uh, keep safe and enjoy your time outside. And I'll be back here as soon as I can. Okay. So, um, remember to live, love, laugh, and laugh some more because laughter is the best medicine. And I will see you back here real soon. Thanks a whole lot for everything. Bye-bye.